mean, the great thing about Bolton Food and Drink Festival is simply that for the last nine years, people work together to try and make a festival actually grow and get better and bigger. Uh, and it, it's about the people, it's about the suppliers, it's about the growers, it's about you know the people who live in the area and drawing them into one place and celebrating great food. Now this year has just been absolutely amazing. I mean, it's looking like we had a lot more visitors than last year. The stall holders are all buzzing. The whole, the whole town's buzzing. Everything's just fantastic. It's bigger than it's been every other year but the people have been absolutely wonderful. What team makes the Bolton Food Festival is definitely the people, the people that they come here. Everybody smiles, everybody's up to, to have a little bit of fun, and that's definitely what, uh, what makes the show different from the others. There's lots to be doing, to be fair. I mean, there's over 130 food producers here. There's an increased and uh, large children's area, which is new this year. So my shows are 20 minutes long, and they're filled with songs and music and games and dancing. And then there's a meet and greet afterwards as well. Um, and also, in amongst that, we've got some great uh, people demonstrating over the weekend. I've just been having the most fantastic day ever in Bolton. It has been yet another memorable year. The crowds have been out on force, and I've just finished my first dam, and people are just buzzing. It's amazing. Well, it's the first time I've been, to be honest, but looking around, looking around the town today, I, I can't believe how popular it is. I think uh, it's, it's the atmosphere which is, uh, which, which is driving the festival forward, I think. You know, it's, it's slap bang in the middle of the city centre, takes over the whole city, which is quite an original uh, concept. And, uh, you know, I'll definitely be back doing it again year after year now, definitely. You know, you get to see the chefs cooking, but more, more importantly, you get to see the producers. Um, you've got some amazing producers around this neck of the woods. There are so many amazing producers around Bolton and we just don't seem to have the opportunity to sh showcase them as we should do and this is the showcase to me, I think it's fantastic. This is a very busy town, a very busy city. Um, as I said, we, you know, we do travel around, do a lot of different cities but there's something very, very special going on here. Everything looks so good and everywhere's so busy which is really great. You know, there's very few places that we go to. In fact, this is the last one we do now. We don't do any of the other food festivals, only this one. Yeah. I think if someone's not been before, then they're in for a great surprise. You know, there's so much to see here. It's a real family event. Double the fact that you've got, you know, and kids entertainment as well. It's, it's a family day out now, um, and, and one that I think people will enjoy. I always look forward to just going around the actual food stores and just tasting loads of brilliant food. But genuinely, I just really like being up on stage and laughing with the kids. Like, sounds cheesy, but that's actually my favourite part. And what I do love about it is uh, the, the, the place is so vibrant. The smells and the various things that are going on are just incredible. And there's some fantastic producers here. Loads of nice people and, and, and the stands where you can get the food. Everybody's very friendly. A cool place to be. Well, I fly from Italy just to be here, so it has to be cool. Well, we've just walked around. We started down at this end and we've walked all the way around. We've looked at every stall, smelled every food. Uh, it's brilliant. We've had a really good afternoon. I think having such a variety of different market traders, loads of different food from all, you know, all parts of the world and all across the, the region, um, I think that kind of variety of, of high quality produce, to me, that's what really makes it, you know. The atmosphere has been fantastic. That's what I've enjoyed, the atmosphere of it all. Um, a boat coming alive. There's so much to see. Uh, it's massive. Uh, every, every street you turn into, there's something new that you didn't expect. If anybody is thinking about coming along, I say get in a train, get in a bus, get in your car, get in your bike, whatever you want to do, and come along. Come along and bring a couple of quid with you and just wander around, try some food, try some drink. It's about the food and I think that's it. It's, it's about the food first and foremost and I think that's what makes it a great festival. If you haven't been to this festival before, just think about it. You're in the north, so you've got friendly people, you've got a council that are fully backing it. If you're into food, if you're a foodie, you've got all the chefs that you'll see on TV actually there in front of you, signing autographs for you. Obviously we don't want to give too much away about next year and everything, but it's our 10th anniversary, so 10's going to feature everywhere and anywhere. Certainly at the gala dinner, this year we did 7 courses, the only thing we can do next year is 10 courses. So we'll have 10 different chefs, and I've just had people knocking on the door this week saying can we come? So it's going to be so much bigger and better next year.